The Department of Defense says hundreds of acres of excess federal lands are currently in the process of being given back to the government of Guam, but whether or not Gov Guam will return these lands to the original landowners remains to be seen. Navy Secretary Kenneth Braithwaite in a letter to Governor Lou Leon Guerrero responding to her inquiry about potential excess lands being returned to Gov Guam, providing an updated list of 231 acres in the process of being returned to Gov Guam, 95 acres of land subject to quote potential transfer, also listed 6,225 acres of submerged lands. The transfers in process of 231 acres give return dates from the year 2022 to 2026. The biggest parcels currently in the process of being returned to Gov Guam right now, parcel seven of the former CB base Camp Covington, totaling 60 acres, 15 and a half acres at the PD power plant and substation, 13.3 acres at Tangis and Beach Park, six acres at Agatnya diesel power plant, five and a half acres at USO Beach Park, and five acres at Marble Cave. Of lands subject to potential transfer, Secretary Braithwaite listed, the biggest parcel is 102 acres, making up portions of the Eagles Field area, which the governor intends to use for the billion dollar healthcare complex. Other parcels include 23 acres at Tumon Tank Farm, five acres west of Route 3, and two acres next to the Nimitz Reservoir, among others. Also listed as potential to transfer, 6,225 acres of submerged lands from Jigo, Asin, and Tangisin. Guam Law 21 GCA Chapter 80 says properties returned to Gov Guam from the federal government are to be returned to original landowners. However, in the event return lands are kept by Gov Guam for, quote, continued public benefit, original landowners or their heirs are to be compensated via the land bank, according to Guam Ancestral Lands Director John Birch. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.